I'm Kay Zimmer with Forcepoint Engineering. In this video, we'll look at how to get up and running with the Triton AP Web Cloud Report Builder. The Report Builder enables you to create multi-level, flexible reports to gain insight into your organization's internet activity. With these reports, you can analyze information from different perspectives and identify any anomalies. If a high-level summary shows areas of potential concern, you can drill down to find more details. A variety of chart options allows you to visualize data in a way that best suits you. To access the Report Builder in the portal, go to the Reporting tab and click Report Builder. Attributes are the building blocks of your report. Select up to two attributes for each report based on the type of internet activity you are interested in and use them to group your report results. For example, if you want to find the top web categories that are being accessed, drag the category attribute and drop it into the grouping field. You can also use attributes to filter your report data further. For example, to find the top categories that contain sites accessed in particular risk classes, drag the risk class attribute and drop it into the filters field. When you add a filter, you configure it to return the exact information you need. Some filters allow you to type in the match you want. Others provide checkboxes. In this example, select the business usage, legal liability, and security options, and then click OK. Now that you've set up your report input, you need to set up what you see in the output. Data is measured in reports using metrics, and the metrics list contains options that you can add as columns to the report. By default, the HITS metric is always included. And you can also add options such as bandwidth used, browse time, and amount of data sent and received. In this example, we're going to add bandwidth to the report. And again, you simply drag and drop it. You can also choose which column to sort the report by. Click a column heading to highlight it and a down arrow appears next to the column name, indicating the report will be sorted in descending order by that column. Click again to sort the report in ascending order. Once you have finished configuring the report, click the yellow Update button to run your report. After your results are displayed, you can choose to see them in chart form and perform further actions on specific rows in the report. To do this, select one or more rows in the report. In the pop-up window, you can choose to show only this row in the report or remove the row completely. If you wish to see more information about the report data in this row, for example, the users who have been accessing sites in this category, select an available attribute from the Drill Into By drop-down list. Note that as you have moved down a level in the report, the report row you selected has been added to the Filters field, while the new attribute you selected for Drill Down has been added to the Grouping field. You can drill down even further to individual transactions. For more information on this, see the video called Drilling into Cloud Triton Manager Report Details. We hope this video has been informative about getting started with Report Builder. For additional materials about Triton AP Web Cloud, go to support.forcepoint.com. Thanks for watching.